right, welcome back. As we finish up the unit, I uh, just wanted to, to tell you a little bit about the lab. Uh, so what you guys are gonna be doing on your own uh, is implementing the game of Lights Out. Um, Lights Out is actually uh, originally, I think, a 2D game. So, so we have a version here called Linear Lights Out. Um, so, so what is it? So let me let me pull this up in the emulator here. Uh, so when I when I run the game, I see that it randomizes uh, my the, the zeros and ones on the, on the buttons here, and the goal is to get them all to match. So if I press them, you notice that they're going to toggle. Okay, so I press this, press these guys, toggle it again. And let's see, press it and press it. And when I'm done, it says says I won, disables the buttons, and then I, I can click new game and it will give me another re random one, right? And if I click it a bunch of times, I can get different random ones. Um, the idea here is, is that with a seven by seven uh, grid, if you think about it, I can do any chunk of three, but if I click the one on the end, it doesn't wrap around. So I just have two here that are one. So if I click in the end, it changes just those two, right? Uh, otherwise it'd be maybe impossible to win. Anyway, the instructions are here. They're also at the main page. Um, hope you enjoy it. Should should be good stuff. All right, but let's let's summarize. Uh, by the time you finish that lab and you've gone through um, all these all these slides and and followed along, typed in the code, understood what's going on, um, you know you, you should see that that our simple interactive apps um, are using things like resources and layouts and listeners and code. Right. So what should you be able to do when when all is said and done at the end of this unit? Uh, Hopefully, you understand about using lay um, using values, strings, and colors, right? Um, both how you create them and how you use them in layouts and in code. Um, you should be able to create a, a new layout, uh, maybe using the drag and drop editor, um, actually editing the properties or editing the raw um, XML itself. Uh, you should have some experience with with referencing the views and the values from code. Remember, we talked about how to do that, like get string or get color or find view by ID. Uh, and then creating button listeners. I've done a whole bunch of that, done it done a couple different ways here. And using model view controller. And again, just with our tic-tac-toe game here, the model was the tic-tac-toe game itself. The view was our XML. And the controller is, is the code that we wrote to, to respond to the button presses. Uh, hope it was helpful for you. I know that last, uh, that last video was a little bit long there, um, trying to get the log cat working. But maybe it's, it's OK. Uh, so you can see that, that uh, you know, if something doesn't work, it's not just you, right? Uh, so, so it's the instructor as well, uh, and it's and it's really anyone who's who's using Android. Sometimes we just have to deal with the tools. All right. Anyway, hope you have a great time using the lab. I uh, look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions. All right. Goodbye.